Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Hillary from New Kensington, Room 11, Pre-K Counts. And today we are going to talk about all types of feelings and counting and monsters. We have lots to do today. We're also going to learn a couple mighty minutes. So some items you'll need for this activity are your a couple mighty minutes, number two and 79, that you can find in your folder. Um, we're going to be making a craft about how you feel. And we're going to be using the monsters with the eyeballs that we used before. And if you still have it from a couple weeks ago, we're going to be using this monster feeling chart as well. And again, you can pause, you can restart, you can go back and get things ready and come back. Whatever works best for you and is easiest, you can use markers, you can use eyeballs, anything that you have in your kit, dice to change these learning games around and make them fun for you. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what we're wearing today. So I want you to really look at what you're wearing and I want you to notice the details of what you're wearing. Um, do you have any buttons on your outfit? Do you have any belts? Do you have stripes? What color are you wearing? Do you have matching socks? Do you have mismatched socks? What I want you to do, and we've done this in the classroom before, is I want you to look at yourself and look at the people around you, and I want you to find something that you have on your clothing that's the same as somebody else's. And this Mighty Minute is number two and it's called just like mine and what we do is we i'll say if we were in the classroom i would say a child's name and i would say jordan has a blue shirt just like mine and we could either give a high five or we could shake hands or we could do a fist bump now remember at home you can touch the family members you can give them hugs and kisses you can give them high five shake hands um, you should still wash your hands but if you're out and about in public, you shouldn't touch anyone that you're not related to or give high fives. You can wave or give a thumbs up, but we have to be careful with how many people we come in contact with to help the spread of COVID. So we're going to try this a couple times. And even though I don't have these things on my clothing, we're going to pretend. So I'm going to say you instead of a name since all different friends are listening to this video. So I'm going to say, hmm, let me think. Do you have purple on? If you have purple on, I'm gonna say, do you have purple pants? And I do, I have purple pants on today, I'll show you. I have purple pants just like mine. And if you do, I want you to put a thumbs up. If you don't have purple pants, I want you to put your thumbs down. Okay, let me think. Do you have black shoes just like mine? Put your thumbs up if you do. Put your thumbs down if you don't. You have black shoes just like mine. Hmm, let me think. I have long hair. So I'm going to ask, do you have long hair just like mine? If you do, you're going to put your thumbs up. If you don't, you're going to put your thumbs down. You have brown hair just like mine. How about, does anyone have earrings in or an earring? Do you have earrings just like mine? Put a thumbs up if you have earrings. Put thumbs down if you don't. A lot of you might not yet because that's sometimes you don't get that done until you're a little bit older. Oh, you have earrings just like mine. And you can do this with buckles. You could do this with belts. You could do this with Velcro shoes. Do you have tie shoes just like mine? Put your thumb up if you do. Put your thumbs down if you don't. Oh, you have tie shoes just like mine. Good job, friends. Thanks for joining me with that fun Mighty Minute. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is our monster match feeling chart from a few weeks ago. And 
I have it hanging up here on the wall. And what you're going to do is look very carefully at their faces. And I'm going to ask you a question. If somebody just took your toy, they just took your toy out of your hand, how does, how does that make you feel? Somebody just took your toy and just took it right out of your hand and walked away with it that you were still using. Well, two feelings come to mind for me. What are some feelings you might be feeling? Hmm, let me think. Maybe sad. Sad, so I have a sad, very sad. He has a frown and his eyes are down. A sad monster. Where do you think my sad monster would go up on our smiley faces up here? See, we have a frowny face, sad eyes. I'm going to put him up here. If you picked this one, you are correct. This one is sad and there's the word sad up there. Okay, so today we're having spaghetti for lunch and that's your favorite meal. How, are you, how might you be feeling if it's your favorite meal? How might you be feeling? I would be feeling happy. So we have a happy, eyes closed, happy monster. And I'm going to look up here and see where does happy go? Let's see. I'm looking up here and I see happy. If that's where you put your happy monster, you are correct. Okay, now mom just dropped you off for the day. And even though mommy or daddy or an adult always comes back for you, you might still be feeling a little bit this way. Does anyone know what that word is for feeling a little bit not sure? You like school, but you also like spending time with your, your, with your family. How might you be feeling? Worried. If you might be feeling worried, that's what I was thinking of too. This little monster, he likes school or she likes school, but she also likes to spend time with her family. So she might be feeling a little bit worried. This happens a lot on Mondays or after we've been out of school for a while. So we're going to find the smiley face with their faces a little bit droopy. They're not so sure. They're a little bit worried. So we're going to put this right up here with worried. Okay, now this one, you just built a huge block tower and a friend came over and kicked it over and you worked so hard and so long on that tower. How might you be feeling? How might that make you feel? Mad, I would be mad too if I worked hard. Your mouth might be open, you might be screaming and shouting, you're mad. This monster has a mad face just like this smiley and it says mad, very mad. Well, after that happens, someone comes along and tells you a funny joke. They tell you a funny joke and it just makes you laugh. And then they stick out their tongue at you, but not in a mean way, just to be this type of feeling. Someone sticks their tongue out at you. How would you, how, and they're being silly and telling you a joke, how would you feel? Silly, you would feel silly. And here's our silly monster with their tongue out and silly eyes. Silly monster, so let's look up here and match our silly. There it is. Okay, and this last one, hmm. It might be storming outside a little bit and you hear some thunder and lightning. And even though we need water and we need rain, it might make us feel a little bit this way. You might want to hide. You might want to snuggle with an adult. It might make you scared. And it's okay. All of these feelings are okay. This scared, his mouth's open. He's a little bit nervous. He or she. We're going to put this up here. Scared. And then we can talk to somebody about our feelings and make maybe feel happy again. 
And sometimes you might be happy and scared. And sometimes you might be sad and mad. And sometimes you might be worried and feel silly. All of our emotions work together and we can feel more than one at a time. Another way you could play this game at home, friends, is you could take all of these cards and flip them over on a table. And whenever you pick up one card, moms and dads, they could match. We've done this activity in the center and the kiddos really enjoy it. I'll be right back. I'm going to get my next activity ready. I'm going to pause. Okay, friends, since we, we have been sitting for a while, we're going to sing a song about some bees. And the bees in this song are feeling a little bit shy. And whenever we act like bees, you can, we're going to listen to a mighty minute number 79. It's called Here is the Beehive. And at school, sometimes we hide under the table to be the beehive. But in this case, since you're at home, we're going to kind of make a beehive out of our body. So we're going to kind of, a beehive is kind of shaped like a U, an upside down U maybe, or like a circle. So we're going to kind of put our body, our body down and make our beehive. And then we're going to listen because whenever the bees come out to play and they're not hiding anymore, then we're going to buzz around the room and leave the hive. So you can move around in a way to make bees. I like to make bees with my arms, make up my wings kind of go like this. Or you can put them up like this, make a bees and bzzz, around the room. Bzzz. So we're going to do this two times so that you can remember how it goes. Some of you might remember this from last year and some of the, you might be new to this. So here we go with here is the beehive. And remember for beehive, we're going to squat down really low and make our little, almost like a turtle, but we're going to be inside the beehive. Here is the beehive. But where are the bees? They're hidden away where nobody sees. When we're standing still, you have to be really still and quiet, really quiet. They'll exit the hive. What does exit mean? It means to leave. They'll exit the hive. And then we count to a number that rhymes with hive. Does anyone know what it, what rhymes with hive? One, two, three, four, five. And then you go bzzz. You can fly all around the room. All right, let's try it one more time. Ready? Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? They're hidden away where nobody sees. Put on your binoculars. When we're standing still, and make your arms really still and quiet. They'll exit the hive. Watch and you'll see. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> You did it. Okay, friends, for our next activity, we're going to revisit our monsters with our eyes that we had looked at before. And this time, families, um, I just put one of our number cards. I attached one to each of a, um, four of the monsters so that we're going to look with the kids and we're going to match the amount of eyes up to the monster numbers. And I also have color strips or our color words ready. So if you want to take it one step further and match the colors to it, you can do that as well. For right now, I just have four monsters, but you have every monster in the rainbow in your packet. So you can choose your favorite colors or you can even use all of your colors. And there are extra eyes in case you want to work on some of the higher numbers with the kiddos. So here I have four monsters and I am going to look at their numbers and I'm going to give them the correct number of eyes. And I also have the colors so we can match up the colors that these monsters are. So our first monster 
Green up here, I want you to look at this monster. And on this monster, there is a number right here. Does anyone know what number this is? What number is this? Some of you might be this age. That's the number three. So I'm going to give this monster three eyes. One, two, three. And then I'll double check my work. This monster has one, two, three eyes. Three. Now we're going to look at our, oh, I'm sorry. What color is this monster? Does anyone know what color he is? Anyone know? Good, this monster is green. It's a green monster. All right, our next monster, we're going to look at this monster. And this monster has a different number. This number is the number Six. This is number six. So this monster has to have six eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six. This silly monster has six eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can anyone tell me what color this monster is? What color is this monster? Yes, this monster is yellow. Yellow monster. Okay, we have another one. This monster here has the number. What number is that? Four, you got it. So it has four eyes and this monster has four antennas sticking out of her head. So I'm going to put the eyes, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four eyes on the top of her head. Okay, we have one more. This monster has the lowest number of eyes. This monster only has this many. Does anyone know what number this is? This is the number one. Oh, oh I'm sorry, I forgot we'll put one on there. We forgot this color. What color is this monster? Purple, that's a purple monster. Okay, let's get back to the one-eyed guy. How many eyes are we putting on the blue monster? One, so we're going to put one eye, one eye. And I already gave the answer, but I'm sure you knew. This one is blue. Take a look at all of these monsters. We said that this blue monster had the least amount of eyes, the smallest number, which was one. Which monster has the most eyes? Which one has the most, the largest number of eyes? Is it green, yellow, purple, or blue? Is it three, six, four, or one? Which number is the largest or the most? If you said six, you are correct. This monster, the yellow one, has one, two, three, four, five, six. And blue is least with one eye. Thank you for working so hard with me. Okay, boys and girls, we have one more thing to talk about today, and that is the craft that you made at home or are going to make. And in your
packet that you got to take home with you. You should have markers, you should have scissors, everything that you should need for this activity. So what you get to do is you get to choose which one of the characters you want to be. And I have these two here. Um, it took me a while. I had to color them and I had to make faces for them. So you have two options. You can either use the faces that are already printed on your papers or you can make your own. So for this friend here, I used the paper that already had eyes so I could change her feelings or her facial expressions. And for her mouth, I made my own. So you can work with a parent carefully to cut out your pieces and then you can slide the faces to make different emotions or feelings. So how do you think this friend right here might be feeling? This friend has eyes that look a little bit down and a frown on their face. How do you think they're feeling if this is the face that they have? Hmm. Let's think about the monsters that we had. How do you think? Is this friend feeling happy? No, I don't think that's it. What about, is this friend feeling silly? No, that's not it either. How is this friend feeling? Yes, this friend is feeling sad. This friend is feeling very sad. Let's see, maybe something exciting happened and maybe her mood cheered up. So I'm going to slide until I find a smiley face and her eyes aren't sad anymore. So we're going to look and see some eyes. Those eyes don't quite look right to be happy. So we're gonna slide here to this set of eyes. And in this set of eyes, my friend is feeling happy again. See how her eyes look happy? Okay, for this friend, and you can make one or both, whatever you would like to do. This friend, I made my own eyes. And I used the mouth. How do you think this friend's feeling? Do you think this friend is feeling worried? I don't know, his, his eyebrows don't look like that quite, but his mouth sort of does. Hmm. This says worried. Well, first he's a little bit worried because someone's near his block tower, but now his eyes are changing and his mouth is open and he is, he's really yelling because somebody knocked over. So he went from, he was a little bit worried. Now he's mad. He's mad because somebody knocked over his tower. How do you think he could feel happy again? What do you think could happen to make him feel happy? We want him to feel happy. Although all the emotions are sad, or I'm sorry, all the emotions are okay, but we want him to feel happy again. So maybe a friend could do something silly, or maybe a friend could help him rebuild his tower. And if they rebuild his tower, I bet in no time. All right, mine's having a little bit of a hard time slide, and you have to be very careful with it. His face is looking happy and his eyes are looking happy and now he feels much better. 
So go ahead and take some time to work on this craft if you haven't already, and you can change his facial expressions, his or her facial expressions, to pretty much anything that you want it to be. Some of the faces look silly. Here's this sad face. Here's some sad eyes. It can be anything. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.